we're gonna drop our marker so tonight's game is actually called Neocab and it's kind of like a visual novel or as I like to call them an interactive visual novel um, and this Neocab is available on PC and Mac OS and you can pick it up on Steam for $14.99 USD. You can also pick it up on Humble Bundle for $14.99 USD or $13.49 USD if you're a Humble Bundle monthly subscriber because you get 10% off. And then this is actually also available on Nintendo Switch. Um, if it's a game that you're seeing interest in, but you're not 100% sure if you want to purchase, you can actually go on Steam and download the free demo to give it a try before you buy it. So those are all the options that are available to you. With that being said, let's go ahead. Um, we're going to dive right on into NeoCab here and give this a look. All right, so new game. Yay, my icon. Yeah, your icon popped up. There comes a point in any long drive where your mind goes a little off the road. It's like the flashing lines in the highway hypnotized you in some weird way. Like it's normal to talk to the clouds. Or come up with a name for the hundredth Joshua tree you pass in the endless desert. I was officially at that point, and so was Jojo. Only 40 miles to go to Los Ogos, to my new life, to my oldest friend. It was like a gift when Savi called me last week. My life was going nowhere fast, and she knew it. It used to be her life, too. Losing jobs to Capra's AI, juggling a thousand gears and still coming up short. Getting way too comfortable just being sad. So when she offered to be roomies again, this time at her place in the big city, it didn't matter anymore what had become between us, what had come between us, or what we said when we were angry. All that mattered was the road ahead. That and the battery charges that had set me back 30 coin. Nothing like rolling into your new life completely broke. No problem, this is cool, cool, cool. You're a driver, just drive. If I could pick up in one ride out here, I'll be in a better place. Maybe even get a fancy here's to us cocktail with savvy like old times. I started a Neo Cab. Okay, so Neo Cab is kinda like a uh, Uber. Looks like. Hello, Lena. Yep, so it's kinda like Uber. Yeah, Neo Cab looks good so far. It's like, now I get to experience what it's like to be an Uber driver, or a Lyft driver. Robert Combs. Okay. So daily goes, I want to make 35, whatever the currency is, and I have to do three rides. Oh, Carpera Cash. Okay, so pick up requests. Okay, I guess we're going to go here. Faster than a shuttle snap. Okay. Start. Night one. For a second, I thought maybe Liam had put his pen in the wrong place. This didn't feel like a convenient pickup spot for anyone. I could barely make him out at first. All I saw was desert and dusk. This looks really good. Then I spotted him. A lone figure dragon with looked like huge luggage or a small whatever that was. He got to the car backs first and squeezed in like he was their sidekick. Hey. Hi, pick up for Liam. You are Liam, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um I can feel his anxiety creeping up from the back seat. I can't help it. I just ordered the stuff like a sponge. Okay, so we're going to have to make him comfortable. Yes, thank God. Yes, okay. Sorry about that. Oh, man. All good back there? I thought I spent all day out there in the desert taking photos of the stars and the LO skyline. Oh, okay. I thought I lost my memory card. The bastard's smaller than a grain of rice. Really? 
Why do they keep making them smaller? Damn, my heart's racing. His accent was smooth and musical, but I couldn't quite place it. Definitely not Southern California. Anyway, hello, Lena, right? Yep, that's me. Awesome, thanks for picking me up all the way out here in Nowheresville. No problem. I was headed this way anyway. Plus, Neocab goes where copper fears to tread. Where are you coming from? Cactus Flats? I don't know that one. Going to the big city on holiday? More like a permanent vacation. This car is carrying my whole life right now. I'm moving. Moving? That's huge. How are you feeling? I don't know. I think. Uh... I don't know what to feel, actually. I've never been to Los Ojos before. Stop it. This is your first time at Automation City? Is that crazy? No, I mean, yes, moving somewhere you've never even visited. But damn, it's also very cool. Don't sweat it. It's my too, though I'm just visiting. For work? Sort of. I'm a photographer, or trying to be. I'm taking a year off from my real job to see what I can make happen. Oh, okay. A year to travel the world and take pictures? Who was this guy? The dream. Seven and I had talked about doing something like that after college until I couldn't go. Oh. Instead, she met a guy, a sculptor, and lived that dream with him. They broke up at their screaming fight in Milan, and she came home with a half-finished clay figure of herself. She always loved playing the muse. Mm. So what about you? Why low? I'm moving to be with a friend. I actually haven't seen her in ages. We used to be super close, and then we kind of weren't. We did. Why did that just slip out? I always forget how easy it is to spill your cigarettes when you're only making eye contact with the road in front of you. For sure, I've moved a lot. UK, France, Canada, now here. Sort of fading in and out of different friend groups, maintaining most of my relationships online. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So why now? Why? What made you make the leap? She asked. All she ever had to do was ask. I just realized that my life isn't as good without her in it. I love that. Sometimes it's just the only thing that makes sense, right? Exactly. It'll be a fresh start for us. I love the music in this too, I hope. Guess this photography thing is sort of my first start. So while you're getting the keys to your new place tonight, I'll probably be out snapping pictures of Copper Tower. Copper Tower? Gross. I mean, I hope you get some good shots. Doing a cover shoot for a multinational monster. No, just say you hope he gets a good shot. Your emotional states affects which options you can choose. Do they want me to select doing a cover shot? Like, doing a cover shot for a multinational monster magazine? Hey, whoa, it's just a beautiful building. Yeah, you can afford beautiful buildings when you have a monopoly. Sure, I heard it's very expensive. So, wait, I mean, uh, that's kind of weird. The spoils are selling out human dignity, right? He shifted in his seat and tried to smile, but it was tight, uncomfortable. Copper, the name carries so much baggage for me. My first driving gig, my only income stream. Before they replaced me and every other driver with auto cards, soulless capsules of glass and plastic. But hey, those things don't need health insurance. I tense up just seeing their logo, which was all over the place. Nearly every passing car was one of theirs. Crawling out streets, covered in senses, collecting data on everything and everyone. Just hearing Liam say the name had my heart pounding in my ears. Right, you're not a fan. We don't need to get into it. It felt like all the energy car had flipped. He was closed off suddenly, cold. 
This is exactly why everyone says that talking politics with the packs is the quickest way to tank your star rating. My 4.9 driver rating definitely didn't want me to push him. Of course, you're right. I didn't mean to be so snarky. What I got next me? My hackles were up and over. What? A photographer who just wanted a picture of a famously impressive building? It was exactly what happened with me and Savvy. I got all emotional over something that really wasn't a big deal and I pushed her away. You're so volatile, Lena. Like I'm looking for reasons to be sad or worried. Like all my bad feelings just leaked out of me and poisoned my life when actually everything was just fine. Oh, I couldn't let that happen again with us. Ugh, I'm sorry. I still cover myself to praise, even if it might help my star rating. Okay. I guess I'm biased. I kind of got a history with that whole company. It's all good. I just don't want to talk about it. Right, just let it go. I get there's a lot of baggage attached to LO. Trust me, I really do. But I'm not here to pick it up. This week, for once, I'm just a tourist. Totally get it. Look, if I wanted a silent ride with a brainless driver, I'd have called a copper. You're much more fun. Oh. As the sun went down, I could just make out the sudden lights of L.O. appearing out of the desert, suddenly like a mirage. We were almost there. This looks really, really good, though. The city lights spilled across my windshield as we crossed the Los Ojo city limits. He pulled out his camera and I heard the shutter clicking away behind me. I thought about Savvy. No more nights alone. No more longing for change. I was making the change and I was ready. Here I am, Savvy. It's real. I did it. I pulled up to Liam's destination, a modest hotel, nice, but it had on art to it. You know it is going to be great, right? You're doing something really big, and I think it's going to pay off. Thanks. And sorry again for being so testy before. I'm in a corporate town now, and that's that. It's nothing. I've gotten into my share of arguments with cab drivers before. You have? Yeah, with much worse opinions. And listen, I know you already got a friend in town, but I'll be crisscrossing town in neocabs all week. Maybe we'll get paired up again. I'd like that. We sh he shouldered his luggage and headed into his hotel, waving at me as he disappeared through the door as I waved back. Okay. I guess I I'd made it. I got a perfect rating. A surrender. What? Ride with a spirited driver. Welcome to LO. Oh. Yay, we earned $6.60 from that. Now in Outer Lands, battery usage. New message from Savvy. What's good, Lena? What? Guess where I am. You better be. I'm at L.O. Meet you at your place? You mean our new place. That's funny. Yep. Wait, actually. Come pick me up. I'm sending you a pin. Sure. Yes. Can't believe I get to see you so soon. My Ray Fave, my Larry Favor Hewitt. O M F G H G. I, I have. N 
I have no idea what that means. Like, I'm old school. You know, you lost me after the OMFG. <laughs> you lost me after that. I'm old school. So I have no idea what this other stuff is. Can't wait, Savius. I have no idea what that means. How long had it been since I'd seen Savvy? Six months? No, a year? It didn't seem possible. Some days it was easy to feel like she was still around because everywhere I went and Cactus Flats was so through with memories. Most days they just made me miss her even more. Nobody gets me like she does. Like, really gets me. Being around her made me feel more like myself. Or maybe just made me like it more. I saw her up ahead and my stomach flipped. Ew, bunny! Savius. You sure you want to sit way back there? Yep, I'm trying to get that authentic private driver experience, you know. Honestly, I just feel safer back here. You're the only reason I would get into one of these things. Oh my god, did you actually get prettier somehow? Damn, girl, come on. Whatever you've been up to is working. God, seeing you again is like... It's like home, you know? Me too. Sorry, can we let's talk more room? Being this close to Copper HQ creeps me out. Yeah, I thought it was where you wanted to meet here. Oh, I was downtown, and it's a giant eyesore, you know. Seemed easy for you to find. Well, now I know where to avoid. Exactly. So... Don't have lights like this back in the flats, right? The way we left things echoed in my head. He rushed into my cheeks. Was I turning red? My chest tightened and fluttered like I couldn't get enough air. I'd call her selfish and cried until I couldn't breathe. Right before I begged her not to leave. Was that what she was thinking about too? I'm sorry about how we left things. I just wanted to say, ancient history, whatever. I'm totally over it. Well, what have you been up to? Tell me everything. So, did you ever get any more gigs with your band? Well, I kind of bounced around for a while. Remember that guy who said I could crash with him and his roommates? Definitely remember how he called me Lisa. Turned out his roommates were more like his parents. They were super sweet and their place was nice as me. And, oh my God, so clean. But then his mom gave us matching sweaters for Christmas. Yep, that's a no-go. I swear I felt myself shrivel into a little ghost right then and there over the eggnog. Yikes. Very. Compared to perfect family time, social activism is way more chill. Just some fogies too afraid of their own shadows to really affect change, but I can work with that. Speaking of... I can't believe we're back in your old story. This thing knows all my secrets. And you know, I love Retro as much as the next girl, but... Would you mind parking it a little down the street from my place? People would get really weird if they thought I was pro-car. It's just a big issue with my work right now, you know? Oh, sure, okay. But wait, where are we going? What's your address? Oh yeah, pull over. You live here? No, I just remember, I got you a present. Yep, I'll pull over. Close your eyes and hold out your right hand. Um, are you gonna? No, I like you, psychopath. I would not put a bug in it. <laughs> It wasn't a bug, it was a caterpillar. That was like three years ago. And it was fuzzy. Oh, I remember. Come on, give me your hand. I forgot how tiny her hands were and how they were always so cold. 
I should have brought you some gloves. How are your fingers free? I should have brought you some gloves. Some extra, extra small. Yeah, yeah. Jace is always whining about my icicle hands. Who's Jace? She slid something metallic into my arm. If you're not going to shut your eyes, then at least stop fidgeting. It tightened to a snug fit around my wrist. Mm. It's like a Fitbit. Whoa. What is it? It's a field grid. It's a sixth generation biofeedback device. Okay. The color and intensely show your mood. Basically the way you feel in your body at the exact moment. You're yellow, which means you're feeling positive. Probably because of my awesome gift. I got the necklace edition. See, feel good green. Now we can both have like total awareness of our emotional well-being. Okay. You know, to take care of each other and all that junk. Ah, uh, Savius, it's like the best friendship bracelet necklace ever. Exactly. So it's reading my brain waves? Nah, it reads your blood. That is dope. Freaking science, right? <laughs> Everything we feel is because our brain has triggered some chemical to flood our system, right? So this has a little system that reads all the molecules as they're surfing through your tubes. Okay. You. Oh my God, I love it. So cool. Just what I need. So cool. See, it just moved toward green, which means you just got a little more chilled out. There are four basic colors. Yellow is like feel good, green, but higher intensity. Happy sun. Okay. Red is angry, anxious, agitated, and blue is well blue. I don't know. I thought it'd be really cool for you to see your colors. People can be so fake, you know. But everyone I know with the feel great is like an emotional superpower. Keeping it real is like second nature now. Even when I was talking for months, she still knew me so well. She didn't even see how I'd gone off on Liam just now. It's been a little all over the place, honestly. I'm trying to work on my emotional superpower just so you know. I get it. This just lets you know that when your feeling is real, but that is temporary. Plus, now you know when your packs are giving you too much crap. Too true, too blue, and you probably need to take a break. Too red, then you gotta stand up for yourself, okay? What? Yeah, because I didn't get the chance to read all about the colors. Don't worry, there's a whole app on your phone with these details, but. Red is like fire, feel all agitated, right? Yellow is when you feel like sunshine and daisies. Blue is for the blues, obviously. And then green is chillax, like, I don't know. A bottomless margarita after a crappy day. Get it? Okay. So I should be yellow or green, basically. Easier said than done, but yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's healthy to get a little red or blue, too. Okay, keep it all bottled up. Now, when everyone can see what I'm feeling, exactly. The thing tells people they're ticking you off so you don't have to. I know confrontation is more my thing. But as you can see, I'm surfing a chill green wave at the moment. Chill as a cucumber. Lena, you're still saying it wrong. What? What's it supposed to be? Cool. Cool as a cucumber. Oh my god, I missed you. Darn, I even tried to remember it. Like, cucumbers are served chill. Well, I missed you too, lady. See, now I know that made you happy and not, and not like, ticked at me. Why would I be ticked? It's not a big deal, but the way we fought when I left. Uh-oh. I wasn't trying to hurt you. 
I know. I really don't want my feelings to upset anyone. But you do feel things a lot, actually. Which is something I really love about you. Your heart is so amazing in the way you feel things. It's kind of beautiful. But bottling all that up doesn't make it go away. And when it all comes out, it's kind of tense like that night. Um, I felt the lump in my throat that made it hard to push back. You're right. I'm sorry. But I'm here and you're here and we're starting over. I don't want to risk making her mad the way all my chest would pass. Are we good? And we're good, right? Heck yes. I felt the weight lift off my rib cage. We were in sync again. We could always talk about serious stuff later. Savvy and I had all the time in the world now. Uh, I'm starving. I'm so ready to get out of this car. My pajamas are calling my name. I'm starving. Oh crap, I'm really sorry, but can you take me somewhere else for really quick first? Sure, where are we going? Well, I need you to drop me off, actually. It's this guy, and trust me, it's kind of a huge mess. You don't want to know. Oh, she said, is everything okay? I kind of like to call it a night, actually. I came all this way to see you. You want me to give you a ride? Yeah, just ask her if everything is okay. Totally. Really. Kind of. I don't know, honestly. I kind of screwed up at work and I gotta fix it before crap comes down on my head. I wish we could just go straight to this awesome ramen shop you're gonna love instead of helping my dumb butt. It's a little embarrassing. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's all gonna be fine. I just gotta do this one little thing before it blows up and then I get to keep my job. Thank the gods. And we don't have to start looking for a cheaper place. Kidding. It didn't really sound like she was kidding. I never heard her take any job so seriously before her or even hit at money problems. Maybe we have more in common this time around, too. No worries. I got you. You're the best. I mean it. Well. Right back at you. He lives in this totally weird rich person dorm called Kinfolk. The place is crawling with techy scum. So what do you have to do? She rubbed her knees together. She always did that when she was so uncomfortable. I wonder if she knew that. He's a good client and I read my big mouth and ticked him off. So now I have to go kiss his butt a little, give the baby his bottle. He's been dying to get into this club, and tonight I can actually make it happen. But you should totally come meet up with me and Jace later. You could just pick up another ride, right? Who knows, maybe it'll be so cute he wants to show you around L.O. Hang on. You're going to a club right now? Yeah, it's this incredible DJ who only plays secret shows. I bet you'll actually really like him. I can try and get you on the list. Let me just text Jace. Okay, cool. So how long have you been with him? Yes, cool. Okay. He says he'll text you all the deets So Great, I'll just wait for the deets. I just got to do this thing, then you should head over. So when... Oh, this is it. Kinfolk. I'll text you in like an hour tops, okay? Then come meet us. Sounds good. See you soon, Rumi. Welcome to LO. And remember, pick up a cute packs next. 
I watched her bounce up the illuminated steps and vanish into a soaring apartment tower. Half spacecraft, half greenhouse, and covered in glowing tri- triangles. What was this place? Copper claws buzzed around me like I was inside some kind of nest. A few of the people inside gave my car a definite look from behind their tinted windows, and they were right. I wasn't supposed to be here. I was supposed to be with Savvy, and even for her. This was a little much. But it was just a detour. No big deal. I'd do one more ride to earn some coin, then we'd be back in sync. Things just had a way of being spontaneous with Savvy, and I was never as happy as I'd been when we were together. All right. Hello, how are you feeling today? Your new field grid is a biofeedback device that displays your emotional state as a color, yellow, green, blue, or red. Intense in a good way. Your field grid also measures the intensity of your emotions at three levels, low, medium, and high. The more you f- your field grid lights up, the more intense your feelings. The circumplex, fancy science term, this meat this map i said this meat <laughs> this map represents the full spectrum of emotions yes even the icky ones each segment is a unique state so even though you may feel like a jumble of emotions your feel grid will let you know which one you are actually experiencing even if it's a little unpleasant feel free notice how you think and react when you're in each color the idea of the field grid is simple to illuminate the feelings in your body so you can tune into your emotional awareness. Stay centered. There's no such thing as a bad emotion, really. Just remember that the dark outer edges of the map are more intense feelings, while the lighter shades in the center are more mellow. One last thing. All the emotions are valid, but the outer limits of the field grid are meant to tell you something. Like it's time to take a break, take a nap, or even just take a moment to center. Now take a deep breath and good luck out there. You're in the red. You may be feeling angry, fear, or disgust. In the red, your heart rate is elevated, and you may have symptoms of tension such as headaches, jaw clenching, or stomach pains. You're likely to have difficulty focusing and experience forgetfulness and poor judgment. Try to take deep, slow breaths and avoid spiraling into negative thinking. Okay. Two packs, snacks, two brush, okay. Okay, so I'm in the red. Pick up a request. Okay, we're going to charge our phone, I guess. Definitely time for a recharge. Plus the weird way the hum of charging stations made me head feel. My head feels stuffed with cotton. I kind of loved it, even if it was probably killing brain cells. The asking price was one thirty two a bar. A little steep, but here I was. I got a full charge for five. Yeah. I, we might as well fully charge it. I pulled away from the station. Okay. Ellie Bream. Okay. So, what's actually going to happen is, um, again, for those of you who are tuning in, this is Neo Cab. Um, and again, it's kind of a visual novel um, slash simulation type or as I like to call them, interactive visual novel. And if you're liking what you're seeing so far, you can pick this up on Steam for $14.99 USD. Um, you can pick it up on Humble Bundle for $14.99 USD. 
Um, it's going for humble month, humble bundle monthly subscribers for thirteen forty nine USD. Um, you can also pick it up on Nintendo Switch for nineteen ninety nine USD. Um, and this is also playable on PC and Mac OS. And if it's something that you want to try before you actually buy it, you can actually download the free demo for this on 